think I was going to actually have time to do a video this weekend, but it's a beautiful day. We just got back from a family outing, um, which hasn't happened. I can't remember last. Well, no, that's a lie. We did that Thursday. Um, so if you saw my Instagram, Thursday was supposed to be my shop update, and like, I'm not even kidding when I say two minutes before Van was supposed to, well, both Van and Otis were supposed to, you know, hop in their beds, get tucked in, hugs and kisses and all that other stuff. Van fell. He's a clumsy kid, and he tripped over his own feet, and he went head first into the corner of our dresser. And it's funny because I love this dresser so, so much. <laughs> it was my mom and dad's and my mom gave it to me and so I refinished it um, last year. And now I hate it. <laughs> um, I don't wanna like dwell on it, but it was, um, it was crazy. The amount of blood that comes from a head injury. Um, anytime, Van bumps his head all the time. So anytime he bumps his head, I always, the first thing I do, I, I pick him up and I give him a hug and I tell him, like, let me see, let me see. And every time it's always, you know, like an egg or a bump or a bruise, minor scratch. He looked up at me and his face was just covered. Um, so I applied pressure and tried to stay calm <laughs> as best I could. And uh, it was probably a matter of minutes before we just said, we need to go. So, and it couldn't, like right now, I'm sure it's like this everywhere, but nobody's allowed in the hospitals so we knew that with all of us going um only one parent would be allowed in and we had to bring otis so um and the reason that we both needed to go is because one of us needed to drive and the other one needed to sit in the back and apply pressure to his head um because he was not like the the bleeding was not stopping so it was a five hour wait. It took a long time, which was, I was pretty surprised um, by that. And I know it's protocol <laughs> and I get it, but I think the most frustrating part of it all was um, the way that I needed to carry him in order to apply pressure because he didn't want to be carried like a hip carry. He didn't want to sit like this. So I was cradling him with one arm like this and the other arm was holding a wad of paper towel to his head and I'm standing there and trying to get in the emergency room door and the nurse was like you need to wash your hands and I'm just looking at her like can I get inside and then I will literally wash my whole body if I need to. But it was like between two doors, two sets of doors. So there's nowhere to put him. And he's freaking out and he's bleeding. And she looked at me again and said, you need to wash your hands or you're not coming in. Which just blew my mind. Like I, I, I know that there's protocols. And so anyways, it was a very long night and yesterday was a crazy day I didn't really sleep um, but he's doing good everything is looking good so far I really hope that they start to dissolve um, because if they don't because sometimes they don't um, he's gonna have to go back in and have them removed and I do not I had to hold him while he was having the stitches put in 
and it is just the whole thing was just so shitty so I thought it would be fun to do a video and I'm in my new room which is where I'm gonna be doing my videos from now on um, unless it's a work related one and I'll do those downstairs and I've got some show and tell and then I want to obviously show off the room a little bit um, so these shelves, it's funny, these have been through quite a transformation. They, I used to have four here, because this was my old die room. This is where I began, Hello Stella. Um, and then I took two shelves down, and those are in the playroom. Um, these two remained when this became Van's nursery, and I kept them, because I actually really like this orange color. Um, it's kind of like a burnt orange. I think it balances really well with the dusty purple that I did on this wall right here. Um, but I've essentially got some yarn, obviously. Um, these are any book that is facing with the pages out is a book that I have finished reading. Um, and then I'm probably going to bring in my stack of books that I have to read. Um, this is probably my most favorite genius hack thing that I ever came across. Um, so these are all of my art books, um, and just paintings and paper and whatnot. But this is a plate rack. Uh, and that's so cool. So this is a plate rack and keeps everything organized and easy to find. I have my little cubby organizer back here and we just got some new plants so I put some of my plants up. I'm gonna download this app um, and take pictures of all of them so that I remember to water them because I'm not very good at that. Um, and then I have some special books on here like Nick got me this set. He found it at a thrift store. It's a whole set of, well not a whole set, it's four of them. Um, but Jane Austen. So he got these for me when we dated or were dating. Um, so they're there. And yeah, I'm gonna start with my wits because um, I'm very excited. So last video I was talking about how I was gonna be casting on two new socks and I started. Um, so this is Juniper. It's reading really bright. Um, but it's on the Highland Sock, and I am test knitting a pattern, they're called the Vignette Socks, I think, sorry Bailey, um, but they're for my friend Bailey, it's her pattern, and I'm so proud of myself, guys look at this, I knit that, so there's this beautiful cable detailing, and then cable and lace, and look at this cool little detail. And then another cable there, and then the back is just stockinette. So I've worked one full repeat, and I'm a few rows into the second repeat. Um, but I'm going to, Based on the pattern, I'm basically going to get halfway through, three quarters of the way through the second repeat, and then I'm going to start my heel and then continue to knit the sock, because um, I want to have, the due date is April 1st for one sock, um, so I want to make sure I get that done. But I did this in one night, um, and I think it's such a cool pattern. Like, it's genius the way that it works. Look at that. Uh, so I'm very excited to keep working on that whip. And I don't know why this never dawned on me, but I always used to think that if you did cables, you needed to use a cable needle, and I always find them a little bit awkward um, to use. I don't know if that's just me. Um, so Bailey was like, she uses a DPN. So that's all I'm using. Um, and I find it really simple because then I know you can knit off of a cable needle, but I just, for whatever reason, my brain clicked with this. Um, 
So that is the first sock whip. And then I shared about the watercolor club. So this is the patina cake. And so I'm doing um, a ribbed sock. Never done a ribbed sock before. And I also did this in one night. Um, but I'm doing the Thanksgiving socks again because I had the right needle size for it. And I think it's so pretty. Let me do this. And that's so cool. I just love how it came out. I added the striping detail. So the first stripe is done with cider and then the second one is done with ramble on um, which pulls out the colors in the patina colorway um, I just think it is so pretty so that is my other sock whip and this one's just kind of like I'm just using um, leftovers <laughs> Can you tell I'm running on fumes? Uh, so that is my other sock whip and it is living in one of my Knitting Nelly project bags. This one's very springy, so I thought it was kind of appropriate to go with that. All right, I like to try and match my project bags to my project so I know what's inside. And then last night I, need, I needed something mindless to work on. I was so tired that I was like, I should probably just go to bed, but I also just needed that wind down um, time. So, what is going on here? There we go. I picked back up my granny stripe blanket and I did about, I did four colors last night. Um, so, I'm holding all Hello Stella mini skeins with a bare tweed. Um, it's an old tweed base. It's not the one that's going to be eventually coming, but that is the um, tweed. And then I'm just holding little mini skeins um, to go with it. So I got quite a bit done last night and it makes me really happy. So I'm going to keep kind of going with that whenever I just need something mindless um, to work on. And I am using one of my Knit Brooks crochet hooks. It's two different woods. Don't ask me. This one is Osage. I don't remember what this one is. Um, They're beautiful hooks, and it is a five, five millimeter hook, and uh, it's already outgrowing this basket, but I just have it kind of sitting in one of my rope baskets, and those are some other mini skeins that I will eventually add to it, um, and then my other whip that is growing slowly is my ranunculus sweater. Uh, so, I made a bit of a dent in the body this week. I got that far. I think it's going to be really pretty. So, I'm hoping. And Stella. I'm hoping I can finish this sooner rather than later. And excuse me while I go take care of my dog. Okay, there is a delivery. Um, okay. Um, so yeah, my ranunculus. I think that's where I left off. It's coming along. Um, I want to try and have it done for Easter weekend. Um, so I think that's two weeks away. Um, I'm two. I'm on my second skein, and I'm about that much through. So the yarn seems to be going a long way so far which makes me happy and now I thought it would be fun to show you some new yarn acquisitions um, 
been very selective on buying yarn. <laughs> Sorry. Um, last year I felt like I was just Well, similar to like knitting things like you see other people knitting things so you're like well I'm gonna knit that too and it was the same with yarn where it was like oh that person just got that yarn that's so cool I want to get it too um, but I'm trying to be more mindful that's my word this year is mindful um, of what I'm purchasing and making sure that I'm gonna use it like my stash is actually because I'm pulling from my stash and choosing to knit from my stash my stash is really starting to like get used which is making me so excited the two bottom drawers I'll probably show you in a clip um, but my two bottom drawers were one side was for my like indie dyed skeins and one side was for cakes and that has depleted so much that I was able to condense everything to one um, one thing, like one cubby. And now all of my plotilope is in a cubby together. So it's, I just feel like I'm able to like, I don't know, I'm using things. So I'm really happy with that. So I made three purchases. Two of the packages have already arrived. Um, and I'm still waiting on the third one, which is coming from Germany. So, um, the first one that arrived this week, well, both of them that arrived are from Emma of the Woolly Mammoth Fiber Company, which if you've seen this, then you know that I really like her yarn. So I got her natural sock because I was talking with a friend and I realized that I actually really love sock knitting but I don't have in my stash many, like before I had single skeins, but they weren't single skeins that you would use to knit socks. Like it was like a single ply or something that didn't make sense for socks. So this purchase was entirely with the idea that I would use it for knitting socks. So I did get one of her sock sets. Um, so this one is her title sock set um, so this one is a hundred and twenty grams and this one is no so 100 grams and 20 grams sorry she combined it um, but it is 50% BFL and 50% Cheviot and it's kind of this like buttery cream color and then I think these are indigo dyed so it's a really fun contrast so I got that sock set and then I got three of her natural sock um, and the, I think the colors are so beautiful. So the, I'm fascinated by indigo dyeing, I think it's so cool. So I got an indigo dyed full natural sock skein which is kind of the same color as the mini. Um, and this one's called Oceanic Dark. This one is called Oyster. So it's a really pale purpley gray. And then this one is called Whiskey, which I am obsessed with. I think this is amazing. Um, so I got those three, which right now they're allocated for future socks. But they could also be great for like color work or anything like that. And then the other thing that I ordered from her was um, Melody Hoffman is currently, I think she's getting ready to open up testing for a new sweater. And ever since she started sharing about the sweater on her Patreon account, I've been obsessed with it which is so odd because it's a bottom-up sweater and I really I just like the way it looks I think she knit it in like three days it's so fast um, so she used this base from Emma it's a BFL Massam and she used a different color but I got this one it's called wildflower dark 
and it is such a pretty it's basically the color of my walls um or my purple wall so you'll see a theme i'm currently riding a purple and orange train right now and it's kind of like come full circle because when i was younger like a kid my favorite color was purple so um so i ended up it was a bit of a splurge but i'm glad that i did it so i got enough to knit a sweater um and i think i always feel like i can pull purple off um because my green eyes so i'm very excited about that um, so that was my other sock purchase this week so i'm just gonna add to my woolly mammoth collection and then um i got one other thing in the mail which i mean i'll show you it's gonna actually i'm gonna show you because it's kind of to go with the advents but um my goal with the advents is anybody that i collaborate with i want them to be canadian because um, i think that would just be really cool to keep everything that is included in the box canadian so i'm going to be collaborating with katie um, from monarch Com from the monarch tea company to do a special tea blend and i'm also going to be working with this company called the dawning collective and they're going to be producing um progress keepers for me which i'm really excited about but i ordered myself a necklace and how amazing is this so it's ceramic and they're hand painted i just think they're so cute i don't eat mushrooms but i think that they're beautiful so i got myself this necklace the packaging was absolutely even the back is a washi tape has mushrooms um so i'm very very pleasantly surprised it came in this really cute little bag with a llama, a crystal, and a narwhal, <laughs> and uh, I got a sticker. So that is the other item that I got in the mail that I'm very excited about. And I also have two projects planned. Um, that I want to cast on probably not until I get my binoculars off the needles um, one of them is I have officially decided <laughs> I, think said, I think I've said this before on here um, that I want to knit a shawl I have no luck with shawl knitting um, but I think that it would just be nice to have something to wear uh, spring, fall, even in the winter. Um, so I'm going to knit it with colors that I know I really, really like. And I'm between, I think I'm between two different shawls, but I think I'm going to go with the Color Craze Shawl by Tammy Gore. I've seen so many people knit it and they always say it's something that keeps you going because there's color changes, there's a little bit of brioche, and I really like brioche. Um, so my main color is going to be lilac fields. I feel like it's getting a little bit blown out. Um, <laughs> so this is going to be my main color. And then I think there's four contrast colors, so I'm kind of trying to pull the things that um, I have leftovers of but I could throw in some whiskey because <laughs> look at how pretty that is let me see if I can do this <sighs> so that could be an option and it's Gilbert the middle one is Anne and the bottom is Kindred uh, no Princess Cordelia there we go um, so that's one option and then the other option is oh boy to use some of this holst um yarn so maybe you can let me know 
which one you think is a better option. I think I'm kind of leaning towards this whiskey one. I think that is so pretty. Um, and it could go for spring, it could go for fall. Uh, so that is one of my planned projects. And ever since the Bunchberry socks came out, I had all of these ideas for future patterns and things, but then it kind of was like, am I just, am I doing it because I put one out now and then there's that expectation of, okay, is there going to be another pattern or is it because I really like it? So I'm going to revisit, um, I already shared a sneak peek of this one sock. I only have one because I never did the other one. I haven't started it yet, but, um, I really liked where this was going, so I shared this a little while ago, but I think I'm going to simplify it a little bit, and I'm going to knit this new um, version, modified version, in these two colors. So this is Gold Rush and then Lilac Fields, um, and I think that will be really pretty, and I really want to like... I wanted to keep these up the other night and start, um, but I'm going to try and get through the heel of this first before I do this, even though I really want to do this, but, um, so stay tuned for that. I hope I can get through one sock pretty fast, um, and I'm really excited about this color combo. I think it's super pretty. So those are my two planned projects. Those are my whips and my new yarn and I'm going to, now that I've got this room kind of all configured and nice, um, I'm going to try and do a floral painting video this week. I did this one the other day and I really like how it came out so I might try and do something like this for the different kinds of flowers and foliage. Um, Just little practice paintings that I do. Um, so that is the plan for the next video and then I have like a whole backlog of footage that I need to actually just sit down and edit. So that is the next thing to do. Um, yeah, I hope that you guys are well and thank you for being here and I will try to have some more videos for you as soon as possible. So have a great rest of your day.